tutorial video. In this video, we will learn how we can create nested recycler view. This is end of the project. Let's see our project on our emulator. As you can see, we have a parent recycler view and inside the parent recycler view, we have a child recycler view. And if you click the any item uh, in child recycler view, as you can see, there is a toss message. You click it. But if you click the parent recycler view, as you can see, nothing happened like this. Okay, let's get started. In this video, I want to write uh, two entire codes. Instead of, uh, I will I will introduce you step by step. First of all, you create an, you created a new project, and first thing you have to do. Uh, add a Kotlin extension plugin like this and after that you can click the synchronize now and let's look our layouts we will create first of all uh, our child recycler view this is our uh, child recycler view item let's look to our design As you can see, our design is simple. Uh, we have a text view uh, of the top side and inside the bottom side we have a image. Yes, this is our uh, child recycler view item. And let's look to our parent recycler view. As you can see, in the parent recycler view, uh, we started uh, with a card view. And inside the card view, uh, we have also a relative layout and text view. Uh, hello world and this is the important part uh, you have to add uh, child recycler view inside our pen recycler view and you might be wonder uh, where we where we will use parent recycler view we will use parent recycler view inside our activity main as you can see recycler view parent and these things our these things are uh, our layout folders let's close to, close to layout folders and go to do some backend codes i want uh, i want to begin with our model package inside model package we have two data class uh, child model and parent model and inside the child model, uh, this model is a core uh, model for me for us. This is, uh, as you can see in the emulator, there are a lot of project in here. Let's click uh, for run again. Uh, this is this data class uh, for our child recycler. We have, as you can see, we have uh, one image and title bottom of this uh, text view we have an image as you can see okay close the emulator and inside the parent map uh, parents data class we have a text view uh, as you can see in emulator trailer or tv series and also we have a one uh, value children uh, this value inherit from uh, our child model uh, list of child models okay and also we have uh, some data factory for create our data as you can see i created a random object uh, from from kotlin random class this class uh, can help us for create some uh, random titles as you can see our uh, next value is a title value this value equals to a array list of and this array list of contains five text we have uh, three functions in here four functions uh, works create a random titles using our titles uh, value and uh, second function is a random image for create random uh, image for our recycler view and our uh, next function is a get child function as you can see we have a count constructor in here inherit from integer and uh, this will return a, a list object list of child model object 
and we will uh, return a child uh, object in this function and let's continue with our parent data factory as you can see we have uh, actually same methods we use it on this uh, class on this object random and titles uh, random titles uh, this function is the same function uh, our previous object and random childer function we have and also get parents uh, function we have as you can see we have also accounts and this function uh, will return a list of parents models let's uh, look our parents models as you can see we have a child uh, child children uh, value in here and this value uh, will extend our list of child model okay uh, this is our models package let's go to the our adapters inside the child adapters it's like it's a normal recycler view adapter we have two parameters in here uh, image view and text view and also uh, for our click it uh, action uh, we have a set on click listener in here you click it and let's go to the parent adapter this is the important part as you can see holder uh, we are handling uh, our recycle our child recycler view in here and let's go to the, this recycler view as you can see inside the uh, view holder in our class we have a value recycler view uh, and this recycler view equals to our child recycler view as you can see and uh, this is our parent adapter let's look our uh, main activity we have a one uh, in recycler function and this function is a normal uh, recycler we've set up and this uh, function has a normal uh, recycler we've set up as you can see in a layout manager or vertical and we are using our parent adapter in here and also parent data factory I mean you can uh, change this this number for example uh, I give it uh, 40 but uh, you can add some another uh, number in here and this number works uh, as you can see in the parent adapter we have a list of uh, parent model and inside the parent model we have a uh, sorry if you look to our parents uh, data factory we have a count I mean uh, this number uh, this number works uh, how much item uh, I will show in the screen okay let's look uh, again our project as you can see project working fine you can find the source code uh, in my github accounts I will share a link below description Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.